recording. It's recording. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to my tabletop Tuesday. I got one for y'all today. The title of this tabletop Tuesday. <clears throat> Let me drink some coffee first. To that, to, today's title for tabletop Tuesday is push out or get boxed in. And I know a lot of y'all already know what I'm talking about because we have all been there. Some of us are still there. You know how you just, it feels like you're cramped. It feels like you are, um, it feels like you are suffocating in whatever area of life that you in, that you are in, be it a job, a relationship, whatever the case may be, we've all felt like, oh my gosh, if I don't get out of here. So I say this to say that we got some choices to make, y'all. We got some choices. God gave us free will to think on all those things. All good and perfect things, all good and perfect gifts comes from above. So that's why I'm always talking about sending it up to the universe, sending it out to the universe. We have to open our mouths. Just like we say, a closed mouth don't get fed. If you don't open your mouth and let people know, especially like those high up people, those dignitaries, because God says he will put sit us before um, leaders. He will sit us among leaders, y'all. So guess what? We got to be ready. You know what I say? Stay ready. Won't have to get ready. So we have to get our mind right to expand. We ask God to expand our territory. So that means that we got to do our part. So you either, oh, excuse me, you either push out or you're going to get boxed in and you're going to be mad and anxious and upset and attitude with minimum gratitude because you're at a standstill. So start making some choices. My, let me see how I want to put this. Just start somewhere. It don't even matter. Just start if that means like just writing it down. Write it down and make that thing plain, okay? Yeah, I mean, we don't want to get boxed in. We've done that so much throughout our lives, y'all. Like on jobs and relationships. Like I said, it's like you feel like, like you're claustrophobic. Like, why am I here? I can't do this every day. I don't want to do this anymore. And that's why like sickness comes in our body. Then we, you know, we start like thinking like life is just against us. Life is not against us or we would not wake up every morning. God will not wake us up every morning. There is something for us. There is something in us. If we just continue to push out and also um, speaking on pushy, push out those words that's going to um, lift us higher. Push out those actions that's going to propel us forward to that thing that we are trying to get to. Don't allow yourselves to continuously get boxed in. If we're already there, why would we continue to let it happen? So let's just think on those things. You know, we, we got to get somewhere. We got to meditate. We got to be quiet. We got to be quiet so we can hear God's still voice. We can hear our own voice. You know, sometimes all it takes is us giving ourselves our own pep talk, but we can't. Because we always doing something. We always listening to somebody else, watching videos, listening to videos, um, out and about, just doing stuff. And a lot of stuff, yeah, it has to be done. I give you that. A lot of stuff, just it just got to be done. So please do your stuff. But for the most part, you know, just to kind of uh, get ourselves elevated so that we can feel better and we can look better and, and, and we can have like wondrous things to say about any given situation. I don't care what it is. Your day just is not going right at all. But when you're feeling good and you know you're looking good, you're like, I got this, you know, and it works itself out. But when we just like just squeezing, just keep on squeezing a situation, y'all, instead of pushing it, push that thing out, push, 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 push. It's just like lifting weights. Like I did my workout this morning and um, I did um, some floor exercises um, with the weights and it was like I had to push, you know, in and then I had to go out because I'm working my chest. So for me to um, continue to see results, I have to keep doing that. I know what's going to happen when I push out. 
and I know what's going to happen when I push in. So it's almost like the same concept. Know what's going to happen when you decide to push out, when you decide to get out of that situation, um, when you decide to get out of that relationship, get out of just thinking crazy things in your head, get out of bad eating habits, get out of just hating on everybody's success, get out, just, just, just push out and get out of that. Y'all will feel so much better. And I'm feeling good because I'm talking about it. I'm putting it in the atmosphere. I'm putting it in the universe um, because, like I said, we've all experienced it or we are experiencing it now. Like day by day, y'all, these days come and these days go and we're getting older. Like, what is we going to do? Because, I mean, I have really been like grinding it and grinding it and just going over in my head like, okay, how do I want to go forward? You know, do I want to just like take time out and do this or no, do this while you're doing this um, without feeling burned out? And that's another reason why a lot of people feel like so boxed in because you're actually like burned out. Like you're sick of thinking, you, you're sick of trying to figure stuff out. Um, you're sick of trying to help everybody else out. I'm sorry, I was reading that text. Uh, it's like, you know, when is my time coming? Not the woe is me syndrome. We, Lord, please, we don't want that. But it's like, when is my time coming? Guess what? Your time is coming when you put in the work and do what you got to do and get started. That, that I can't stress that any better. Just get started. I don't care what it is. It could be something small. Like, I didn't put sugar in my coffee this morning. It could be something like, I didn't put milk in my coffee this morning. I didn't put sugar in my cereal. I didn't drive fast yesterday. Just start on something that, that you're going to stick with. And, you know, if you do it for like, say, I'm going to do it five days, you know, and you do that and then you do it 10 days and you do it 20 days, you stuck with it. So when you do that, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the pride we have in ourselves when we complete something that we said we were going to complete it. But it's like, the earth opens up, the heavens open up when you have written it down and then you come back like a year, six months, a year or two years or however long and you see that thing came into fruition. OMG, y'all. See, this is what I'm talking about. Just push out. Push out. If you need help pushing out, get help pushing out because sometimes we can't do this on our own and um, you know, we, we got to um, find somebody, get somebody good, somebody you, if you have to pay them. It's going to be worth it in the long run because some stuff we just cannot do it because we don't know. We don't have all the answers. And a lot of stuff we don't need all the answers because a lot of people, you know, wait around. Um, like I said, I'm sure we've all done this at one point or another. You wait around. Well, I'll wait till I do this or I'll wait till this happens. That may not ever happen, y'all. So just start. Once you start, kick that thing in gear. And, uh, and, and the rest, like they say, is history. That's it. So that's what I want to leave um, with you guys on Tabletop Tuesday. I hope you had your coffee or your tea or what have you. And then I'm going to go and get my protein, my peanut butter uh, on the bread. That's what I like to eat um, after workout most of the time. Or I will put it on a spoon. So, yes, happy Tuesday. Um, ha um, have a good day. And um, thank you for joining my Tabletop. You can't see the Tabletop. I'm just sitting. I'm on, actually on my um, my iPhone right now. I set up my um my joystick, but neither here nor there. You got the message. So happy Tabletop Tuesday. Um, chime in. I appreciate you guys uh, watching the videos. Like it and share it. And I do have a YouTube channel, Lovejoy Naturals. You can check that out. All the videos are there too. If there's one that kind of strikes um, a nerve with you, um, you know, just share it. Like if somebody's going through something or been talking about a subject that I have spoke on, send them to my YouTube channel or my page here and they can just scroll and just watch till their heart is content like you guys can do. But anyway, happy Tuesday and remember, push out or you're going to get boxed in. I love you guys. Bye.